Setting a JWT authentication in Laravel is pretty simple. In this tutorial, I'll explain you how to set up a JWT in your project. Start off with including a package called Time on JWT Auth. Once done, the next step is to include the dependency in the config app.php file. So provide the service provider reference. and also add the aliases. There are, there are a couple of uh, aliases which need to be added uh, then JWT auth then the JWT factory third step is to set up the configuration file so for that uh, let's generate the config file has to reference the provider so with the artisan command we can publish a config file so go to the config section and you will find uh, a jwt.php file generated this is where uh, all the configuration required for the project can be set up. So there is a secret key which you can generate uh, using the addition command. It will be JWT generate and it will automatically populate uh, that value. other config sections if you want to change like uh, the TTL which is like the validity of the token which is generated uh, defaults to one hour and uh, a refresh TTL which defaults to two weeks the algorithm used for authentication the user object if you want to define your own user object everything can be done in this configuration file so i am keeping most of it as default uh, so fourth step is to set up the middleware so if you have seen the previous tutorial we had uh, set uh, middleware uh, things for uh, roles and permissions 
so in this case it is uh, setting up the auth and the refresh uh, middleware settings five is to actually set up the routes for authentication so let's create the method to authenticate a user authenticate method uh, receiving a request so that's middleware request object and I accept the credentials in my case it is uh, email and password just making sure that the right reference is being made so I accept only the email and the password and uh, error handling there are uh, exceptions uh, classes available through the JWT package with the, which we installed which will handle uh, many of the scenarios like uh, token expiring invalid token etc so if you want to respond back uh, with your own custom exceptions then you can actually do that so right now i am using uh, the methods which are uh, available as part of the Tingo framework so I am receiving the token through the JWT authentication method so that's the alias which we defined and I'm directly using that so I'm passing the credentials which is uh, the username which is the email and the password so if the authentication is valid then it returns a token if not we can respond back uh, with the error message So in this case, uh, it might be that uh, user credentials are invalid or incorrect. So I can respond back uh, with the status code set. So everything, if everything is fine, then I can return the created token, which is the JWT. So I provide a response and uh, this is the way you respond back uh, a token object. So I should be using the request object. So let me delete uh, all the unwanted uh, references.
that request object is what I need to use for uh, receiving a request so all looks fine now let's create the routes I would re need a route named uh, authenticate with post method reference the auth controller and provide the method name now the final step is to test out that uh, route I use postman for that which is a chrome extension so I have the API authenticate uh, endpoint with post and uh, the parameters being uh, email and the password so this is this email and uh, password is for a user which we had created in the last tutorial so once I submit it it's giving me an error so let's check back what the issue is so instead of the JSON, we'll use the Dingo provided uh, methods. So I am changing it to accept an item to respond as an item instead of JSON. Let's see whether that will work. So you can see that the item always accepts uh, a second parameters, which is a transformer. So we cannot use it at this point. So let's uh, respond back as an array and set a status code. If everything is fine, well, let's set a status code of 200. So this time we get a positive response and uh, JWT is responded. So we, re we receive a JWT now. Let's check a scenario where the va validation fails or the authentication fails. There are still some errors uh, on the exception side. Uh, so maybe we can try using the um, Dingo provided methods like error or unauthorized uh, will directly respond back with an unauthorized uh, uh, response also if there is an internal error that can also be directly called and the authentication failure case is also working fine now that concludes the episode thanks for watching keep subscribed if not subscribed Please subscribe to our channel, like the videos, comment on the sections and provide your feedback. Thank you.